Hi guys, Jackie with BitPhoenix in the BitPhoenix lab. Today we're launching the highly anticipated BitPhoenix Fear power supplies. Let's take a look at it. So ever since launching our first case, the Colossus ATX, uh, people have been asking us when are we going to be launching our power supply because pow power supply and a case goes hand in hand. You need a power supply and you need a case in order for a PC to work. So we didn't want to launch a power supply knock off the market, um, but we wanted to launch one that matches with the styling of our cases and also meet the performance needs of everyone. Um, so here we have the 550, 650, and 750 wattages. Uh, let's open one of them up and take a look at the internals. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing and overview of the packaging. You got your 80 plus logo on the side here. You got five years warranty. Uh, in the front, you got very large image of the Bit Phoenix Fury. Of course, uh, the 750 is indicated by the yellow uh, packaging. The 650 and 750 are red and blue. Of course, on the other side, we have the images of the cables that you get. Left side, the barcode of the packaging. And on the back, we have the main specifications of the power supply along with like, some key features. Uh, the maximum output uh, can be found on the back as well. So let's take a look at the inside of the power supply box. Opening up, you have your quick installation guide. On the left here, on my left, you have the accessory box. It actually opens up and has all your cables here. Opening up this side, you have the power supply wrapped in a sleeve here. And of course, you'll notice that all the individual cables are sleeved with our LP lineup. So let's go over the outer core of the Fury power supply. Now when you buy a power supply, you usually don't want to show it off because it's either silver or glossy and it doesn't match your, the rest of your components, such as your video card. But we designed this uh, with a powder coat matte finish. Uh, there's also many different stamps on the power supply, which we went over a couple times to uh, make sure that it has an aggressive look. Uh, both sides of the power supply, we actually have an aluminum finish here. This is like a blade design on both sides of the power supply. Uh, the grill itself here has a stamped BitPhoenix logo. On the opposite side, we also have a stamped BitPhoenix logo. So whichever way you orient your power supply, it'll also look good as well. So let's take a look at the second part of the power supply, uh, which is the cabling part. We have a semi-modular design. Uh, the only attached cable is the 24 pin and the rest are modular. Now what's great about the sleeve cables here is that they're, we're using the Alchemy sleeve cables, uh, which you know for the extensions. Uh, people wanted to put the extensions on direct, directly to the power supply. And what's great about that is that you don't have to open up the power supply to avoid your warranty and also take a lot of your time to sleeve the cables individually. Uh, also, that they don't have heat shrink on them so that they actually bend easier inside your case and the rest of the cable is very easy to bend as well. So not only that we focus on the design of the power supply, we also focus on the performance and the efficiency and the reliability of the power supply. Let's start off with the 80 plus volt efficiency. Uh, we have 90% efficiency at half load. So if you're using a 750 watt power supply at 325 load, you have 90% efficiency and this is great for lowering your power bill. Uh, next, we have Japanese capacitors. This ensures your reliability uh, of the power supply. Now moving along, we have the 135 millimeter uh, fan for intake on the power supply. And this means that you have longer longevity of the fan for efficient cooling. Uh, of course, fluid dynamic bearing means that the fan can last over 100,000 hours on continuous operations. Single rail power management, uh, this is a lot better than multi-rail in my opinion because uh, you don't have to calculate the amperages uh, for each video card or power or CPU that you're using. We're also using BitShield uh, six point protection which ensures that your power supply does not overvolt, undervolt, undercurrent, etc etc so that wraps up the overview of the bit phoenix fury power supplies if you have any questions of course you can post them in the comments below you can also reach us on our twitter page our facebook page and also our bit phoenix forums uh, if you also want you can directly email us at support at bitphoenix.com uh, see you next time